Hey, what's up guys, it's Nerky46, and today I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 4 and why you really don't need a brand new GPU to run the game. So, as many people have noticed in the beta, it hasn't been running very clear and crisp and exactly smooth FPS like everyone would want to play the game. Now, maybe some people are thinking, oh no, I need a giant brand new GPU that can run games on ultra settings, and I'm going to need a brand new GPU to run this next gen game. Well, you really don't. It's basically just a problem with the drivers because it is a beta, so it will be fixed by the time it comes out on October 29th. So, now you may be asking, well, what kind of GPU would you recommend for running Battlefield 4? Well, for Battlefield 4, it's really not anything, you know, it's slightly more intensive than Battlefield 3, but it's not a huge improvement. For PC players, it's mostly just like a, a brand new texture pack, almost, if you want to compare it to Minecraft. But, yes, the game is going to require a little bit more than Battlefield 3, so what I would recommend is probably a GTX 760 or a... AMD 7950. Now, with the 760, you're going to be getting about the same performance as the 7950 and the 7950 vice versa. They're basically about the same GPU, and they both cost around $250. Now, you could probably go with a lower GPU and just run the game on high. So, if you wanted to play on Ultra, you would need to get a 760 or a 7950 to run on Ultra at good FPS is, you know, 60 or so, a little bit lower than that, around that basic ballpark. Now, if you're interested in getting the new AMD R9 series or R200 series of GPUs, I would recommend probably the R9 270X, either at 2GB, which is $200, or the 4GB version, which is $230. Now, the 4GB of VRAM will help you run the game slightly better because it is recommended to have three or greater um, VRAM for Battlefield 4 as it was listed in the system requirements, but it really is not needed. You can still run the game on two gigabytes and probably be pushing ultra if not high if you're not doing too well on ultra. Now another card that will definitely get you on ultra at over 60 FPS is the R9 280X which is at $300 currently. Now, it's interesting though, the R9 280X is basically the same as the 7970 that we have currently in the 7000 series GPUs. So, and they've even tested that the R9 280X can run in Crossfire with the 7970. So, if you're trying to upgrade, I wouldn't really recommend upgrading from a 7970 to a 280X because it's basically the same card. Now another GPU I would recommend if you really want to go all out is you could go with the AMD R9 290X which even includes Battlefield 4 if you get the Battlefield 4 edition which is available for pre-order as of right now and it will probably be shipping out either before or right about release date of Battlefield 4 given that it comes with the game. Now it may seem like I'm pushing the AMD cards that are coming out this year but I kind of am because it seems like as of most speculation right now is that the AMD chips are going to be, you know, optimized for PCs and consoles the way that AMD, because the new consoles are going to have AMD chipsets in it. So that means that games that are going to be ported from console will probably be running better on the AMD cards. Now this is speculation, but as of right now, it seems like obviously if something is optimized for an, an AMD chipset on the consoles, it just seems like it would be a better port to the PC. Now, I'm not saying don't get the GTX 760 or anything, but go with AMD. Now, another interesting detail to make sure your PC is running Battlefield 4 at the best quality that it can is that the current, win the current best version of Windows to have for Battlefield 4 is Windows 8.1 because it is optimized the best for playing Battlefield 4 Beta as it is right now, and most people that have Windows 7 aren't getting clear frame rates, and with Windows 8.1, it is much better frame rates and you don't have as much jitteriness. Now, by December, 
Mantle, which is apparently the fix for this problem, will be coming to Windows 7 in an update in December, which will also help run Battlefield 4, so just keep that in mind if you are on Windows 7, um, which I am as well, that the game will be running slightly better um, on the act when the game actually comes out in December when they release the Mantle for Windows 7. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If you have any questions about what GPU to get or, you know, or any comments or concerns, just leave them in the comments below. Be sure to leave me a like if you like this video. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.